What's up, everyone? I Apple Everything here. I have my uh, jailbreak. I have a jailbreak video for you guys, and this is on three point one point two, and this is on a Mac. Okay, so this is very easy. It's using Ponage tool. Link in the sidebar to the left or right of this video, um, and th that's the latest version of Ponage tool to work with three point one point two. So go ahead and launch up Ponage tool, and basically this works for every phone. And uh, take in mind, there's no unlock still. So I would wait for the dev team fully. But anyways, um, you can be iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, Apple Touch first gen, and second generation. As you see, the third generation is not included. Um, but I'm sure it will if a dev team creates one. But first, you're gonna select download firmware. Actually, first you wanna go ahead and select your firmware in this website. Um, down here, you're gonna select what what whatever device you have, Apple Touch or iPhone and then select 3.1.2 and go ahead and download and make sure you're in Firefox because it will download correctly there sure I'm talking so fast <coughs> anyways once you're in Ponage tool you can go to expert mode or simple mode simple mode basically is just much easier so go in simple mode we can go iPhone 3G 3GS select your device then go ahead and go next okay so here right here is the browsing for your firmware If it doesn't find, I'll have to go into expert mode. All right, found it here. iPhone 3.1.2. Select your firmware and hit next. It says we will now create the IPSW file that will you, you that you will use to reuse your iPhone 3G or 3GS with iTunes. This file will be placed on your desktop. Do you want to continue? We're gonna hit yes. Do you have an iPhone 3G or 3GS contract? Would you like to activate normally through iTunes? And for me, I do have a contract, so I would hit yes. And right now, it's going to build the IPSW file right here. And um, I'll come back to you right when it's done. In the middle, halfway through, it'll ask you for your password. Go ahead and put in your password. But once this is done, I'll come back right after and show you the next steps. Uh, guys, I'm back here. And uh, as it says, it says I has and success. And right here, no, it says, had your iPhone 3G or 3GS been pwned before? Does it have the pineapple logo? If unsure click now and I'm gonna click uh, it doesn't have the pineapple logo because it hasn't been jailbroken alright so just hit no now it's gonna ask you to go into uh, recovery uh, DFU mod okay and um, go ahead and connect up your iPhone or iPod touch and uh, go into DFU mode by holding the power button but you don't actually have to do this all you have to do is go into iTunes go to your iPhone I'm just gonna plug mine in real quick okay so um, here I plugged in my iPhone right here and you don't actually have to go into recovery mode or anything cuz uh, all you have to do is uh, hold down sh uh, on the Apple keyboard hold down alt and option the one key option key and click restore and then uh, the finder will pop up and basically where you've saved it to the custom restore so I'll just check if this okay it says custom restore that's the one you created in Ponish tool okay then you're gonna go ahead and hit choose okay and then it's gonna start doing the processing it'll say extracting software and then you know the procedures I'm not currently going to do this with you guys, but um, all you have to do is after that, it'll you'll see, go into your iPhone and um, it'll be you'll see Cydia and I believe Icy. You don't get Rock the new installer, but uh, it's not that great anyway. So you get Cydia and Icy right on the next page, and you'll be fully jailbroken. That's how to jailbreak your iPhone on a Mac, iPhone, or Apple Touch on 3.2.1. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.